Greetings, Tribal Jazzman Scholar here. I want to talk about a subject that's going to probably generate a lot of controversy, <clears throat> but I'm okay with that. I want to talk about the idea of genetic memory. Now, I know that that flies in the face of what we know about DNA. We don't inherit things that are learned or cultural. We inherit the physiology. But uh, at least that's what the scientists say, and that's the general belief system. But I'm going to contradict that with my own ideas and my own thesis and my own feelings about the matter. Um, and it's based on a personal story, so I'll kind of go to the personal story and let that speak for itself. Um, my mother's Greek. <clears throat> She's an immigrant to the United States. She came here when she was 18 years old and took a boat across the sea, Ellis Island, that whole gig. She had lived in Greece under the Nazi occupation, <coughs> and um, she had a, a, an uncle who was a famous inventor. Well, he, he wasn't famous, but he was wealthy. He invented the aerator, the little uh, screen material that goes into a, a kitchen faucet and makes the water soft. He invented that. It was his only invention that ever sold anything, and he made quite a bit of money, and he lived in Paris, and he knew that my mother, his niece, wanted to study, wanted to make something of her life, and he uh, paid her way to the United States. So my mother comes here as an immigrant, and my whole life growing up, I knew that I was half Greek, and I knew I wanted to learn Greek and speak Greek. My mother never spoke any Greek to me, but I had this deep sense of connection to my past, my ancestors. I wanted to go back to that country, and when I was 22, I went to Greece. And I lived there for a year, and I studied the language, and I got very enmeshed and involved and integrated into the culture of my family and the countryside, and I traveled quite a bit. And um, I became fascinated with Greek music. Now, Greek music is, to the outside listener, might all sound fairly similar, but it's got lots of interesting genres and lots of very regional, regionally specific styles. And I became very, very intrigued with a lot of the different musics, but one in particular kept sticking out for me. It was music from a little region in, in the central, north-central north central Greece, in these mountains called the Agrafa. And I just liked the music from there. And I listened to it, and that became the music that most touched me and resonated with me. And, um, and I came back to the United States and brought a lot of different musics with me to listen to um, from Greece. But that, there were some songs from there that always kind of hit me on a deep level. And uh, so it was maybe 15 years later that I decided to go kind of on a journey to trace my ancestor roots. And I, and I guess you can see where the story's going. I found out that my relatives on my mother's mother's side all came from these mountain villages in the Agrafa of Greece. And it's a very small remote region of Greece, but that's where they were from. And uh, that was the music that I loved. Um, so, uh, it's one example to me that suggested the possibility that um, where our ancestors have spent a good deal of their time and expressed a lot of their emotions and sentiments and creative arts, that that can become embedded in us in a way that transcends the purely physiological transmission of DNA. So I like to call that genetic memory, and it's not my idea. It was shared with me by a friend who believed in it as well and had his own stories about it. Um, but... Uh, it's just one of the things that I find helps to connect me to my past and to my ancestors. Um, I, I have traced my family tree on both sides of my family about as far back as I can go, and I can go back four or five generations on both sides. And um, interestingly, there's qualities in some of these ancestors that remind me a lot of myself. Um, and uh, so that's kind of fun, and it's, it's a way for me to uh, feel that there's people watching over me, that I'm not alone, even when I and maybe walking alone. Uh, and it also helps me to try to recapitulate for the young people I work with the possibility that our tribal friends on this planet, the indigenous populations who spend a great deal of their energy and time in the honor and in the memory of ancestors, that they maybe they're onto something. And we would do all well ourselves to consider the importance of those who have come before and who have shared with us their DNA and possibly something of their experiences and their creativity and their passions, like music. So with that, Tribal Jazzman Scott will sign off. Thanks.